Okay, um, we've set up our pages in Pingendo. In some previous pr tutorials, we had an overview of how it works because it's a visual editor to do drag and drop layout of a bootstrap framework. Now, we got as far as creating um, our pages, which um, are, are up here. We've got a number of pages. We've got an index homepage. We've got an about. We've got a gallery page. We've got a context page. And they're all set up with a nav bar that links to all those pages. And we've set up some um, footer items for the bottom. Now, we're going to be working on the index. So here's the index up here in the tab. And we're going to put on a carousel. So there's a couple of ways you can put a carousel. One, you can put it from the um, sections. Also, you can have it from the um, components. Now, what you would do is you click on there and you drag and you place it in between here, just underneath the header and in between the footer item. Now, it comes up with placeholders on it and it will give you some settings over on the other side. Now, the, right now that we've got the carousel in position, we will rename the ID. So up here it's got carousel example. So I'm just going to call this slide show. Right, so make sure that's okay. And I'll just copy that because what we need to do is go down to the HTML down at the bottom and I'm going to drag this up and right down at the bottom before we have anything. Here is our code for or carousel on here now you'll see I've renamed the ID slideshow up at the top where it's got ID here now down at the bottom it referenced to it again now before it just had the generic example so I'm going to just name it the same so here after the hashtag I'll paste this in on both the left and right controls so they both match so the it matches the id i've given it i'll just save that now that's quite important otherwise it just sort of won't work basically because it's got the um just the generic one in in situ right now once i've done that there are a number of things i need to do now is i need to put some images on here that i've already scaled i've already scaled them to those dimensions 1920 by 600 pixels so if i click on here and sometimes you have to click around a little bit until in the settings you get this you get down where the children are you have that now you have the controls now the controls turn the controls on and off and as a default they're on and i leave them on also as ever with all these elements you can turn them off at different media query settings or breakpoints for the different device sizes and then it's got cycle and that means it'll just cycle through by itself now if i just again if i bring up the code again and i have this where it is and now again if i go back here i click here and if i now turn this on you'll see down here the interval you'll see it appear in the code and also appears here so you can rearrange it for both uh, those elements all right okay so we've got those uh, on here already okay so once that's sort of set up um, we will now need to add our images so here it is down here and what I need to do is just click on the blue button and then select carousel slide now that'll add another button onto the another slide and I'll just go one more so I'll add another one and there so now I have three three of them so first up I will just click on this one and when I click on it you'll see it highlights it in the code and also it puts it um, changes the settings and moves one deeper down for it now here we just got a placeholder I will click on here and I'm going to bring in an image and I click open and there it is it appears now you do have these titles on here okay I'll put in a title on there so that's on my uh, first one and then again make sure I click around here to select um, my carousel that will bring up the child elements 
And again, I wanna move on. The best way to get this into focus it, um, when you're trying to edit it is by clicking the active button and that will bring that one to the front. Now, once I've done that, I can click on that slide and then I can go up and bring in another image. Again, I'll just bring in another image that I bring down here, open that up and that appears there. I'll just put a title on there. We can put a description if you wanted to, or you can turn these off, which we'll have a little look at in a minute. And I'll just call this coffee break. All right, so put a title in here. Um, that's done. Um, if I do go and click on this uh, child element here, it will have an option to turn the captions off if we wanted to, so it just has images. Right now, once I've done that, I'll just click back up here to select the carousel, and lastly, I will make the third one active, then click on the, then go up to the source, and I'm going to find uh, another image, and click open, and I'll just type in relax. Right, so I've got my images uh, set up, and also, more importantly, I named the ID, and also I sort of called it further down where it's going to go. Now that's all set up, I'll just save it up to date. Now I can go up here to my site folder, and if I double click on my index and open it up, you'll see in the preview, it's responsive, it moves back and forward, so that's quite good for all those different breakpoints. And you'll see it will, every five seconds, it will scroll through to the next one. Also, hopefully, if we click these, they will go back and forward. If you find you know that, that it, it doesn't go back and forward, it means that, that you haven't given it an ID. And also further down, you at the end of it, to do with these left and right buttons, you haven't um, call the ID on those. So there we go, so that's working pretty nicely on that and, it, and it's quite responsive. Now if we come back here, now that, that's our, our top element there done. Now next thing we will do is I will click back up here and I'm gonna get this guy reading the book as the active one. All right, so I'll just put this down here in the background. That's gonna be my active one. Now, once that's on there, I can put some other elements onto here. So there's different elements, there's sections that we can bring in here, and also there's other components that we can put in those sections. So I will come down, and this time it's got these two contents. So it's four columns and three columns. So if I drag this out here, I can just place it where the blue line is, and it'll give me um, these sort of constructions with images and also titles. Now, if I double click on one of these, what it does, it, it has some images that it has in the system linked to it that, that you can just add. You can actually add your own ones, but I'll just you know use these to get going on those. So I'll just you know, click on that. And you might find that some of them don't sort of tally up in size, so you might have to um, you know pick another one that, that that does that does correspond. There we go, and I'll do the last one again. I'm double clicking on it, and these are just things it has in the system. All right, so I've got the three images. Um, I can just say break uh, leaf. So, this is how you would just quickly just add the actual content uh, trees. And oh, I've got the leaf again, so I can double click on here and change that for this. And you'll see this one, you know, is a mismatch with the size. So I'll, I'll go back and get that one, and that's fine. Okay, so I can go Okay, so we've got those lined up and I could change those in the body text, but that's a, just a really quick and simple way you can add some content on that. So if we come up and save that, and if I come up here and double click on that, again, here it is, the content is laid out on there. I can bring it up and we'll see how it responds. 
as it gets to these break points it does that so there you go really quick and easy drag and dropping now there might be more you want to do to it and as i said before you might have to manually add things to the code but when it comes to adding things in the structure it's pretty simple now you can click on any of these images here and you can go up and, and replace them for, for another image obviously you might have and sizes that may not work out so you know that that's pretty important that you make sure that they do correspond to uh, sizes that you've got and if I click on that it will bring that image in so you can bring your own images in here when you select these boxes all right now I've done that page okay what I can do now is go to my open folder so I go up here go to my site folder I'll just get them in a different order and I'm going to bring up my about page so once I've got my about page again you may want to bring up anything that's in here I may come along in here and just go for this one column structure I drag that up so it's in between the header and the foot of the here's this I can now uh, just double click on that again select an image that's already on there and type something in And again, I could change that information on here. I could put some other information on, but I'll just leave that as it is. I'll go back up here. And then this is where the site folder is where you would preview it, I double click on it. And here it is there. Again, I'll check for responsiveness. And there you have it, you know, responsiveness is there. Also, I can click there and go back to my home page and then I can go back to my about page so things are filling up pretty good now I will go back here and next one along again I go to open up here to open up and I can bring in my gallery image well, you can put some carousels on here or any other images but you can come along and put you know any of these components or sizes or anything on there and you just drag them on your pictures however you want it's pretty simple how you would do that now what I will do is I'll just bring in a YouTube video on here uh, how you do that is I just click here again I get the blue line in between so I drag this in now once you've got that if I click over here it's already got the uh, embed up on there and it's got lots of stuff on there that it's just you know brought in uh, a YouTube it's got the class on there and also we need to bring in the uh, embed from uh, a, a video we're going to bring in okay now what you can do with the video you can come up here and I'll just delete that and get rid of it by pressing enter now I've got another one that I will paste in here that I've got from YouTube and hopefully press enter and there we go that's been put in there now if you go down to the uh, HTML markup you can actually see where it is here if you do have any problems all it is is mostly it's just putting in here the source uh, of the image which you will probably get when you when you get the embed code off uh, YouTube or even um, Vimeo so I've got that so if I now just save that and again I go up to preview it and this is a gallery page and we click and that will just play an, an embedded video so it's so it's pretty simple to put uh, embedded videos in there so we've got that and I'll just take this down from my gallery so what I can do as well is I'll look at some other information we can put in here you can put in what it calls wells so if you get this and drag this out between it well is something that just has a has a background in there um, sort of embedded in doesn't spread out the page and it's got a gray background and if we come along and just say this is a well again it's just another part of you know the options that you have of lots of different components you can bring in okay we brought that in um, now that's that page done now I'll make sure I save it now I'll go on to the uh, contact details next so again I go into open up here I get contacts and what I can do here is you can have 
some forms. So it's got lots of forms at the bottom that you can use. So it's got this uh, vertical form and another form, and we can drag those out and place them on here. So you've got these forms that you can use to sign. You can, you know, come above that and you can come along and put in other information about headers. So you can come along and uh, contact us. Now, whenever you put a header in there, we've got it here. It's giving us a H1. I might take it down to a H2. You've got these here. You've got a form group over here. So you can actually change uh, the properties either here or you can change them over the other side. So it gives you, you know, a number of different options to just select um, some forms on there or put forms in. So you've got those options. OK, we'll just drag out a another one, which is a jumbotron which is a big above that so i could come here just above the contact and put that on a call to action so you've got some information on there that you can put in on the page so yeah so that's that page done and i'll just save that and there we have it so if i now go up here and double click on the index here we are here's the the home page again as we've seen before it's uh, responsive i'll just close this down so you can see it more readily it's responsive it comes in comes out go down here we've got our images it's uh, a little scroller on there we've got another one we put on here again we'll test responsiveness there we go uh, then we go for the gallery which we you know just put a video on there to show how that works and then we've got you know a form on the that, that we can use um, to do our mock-ups and again we did a jumbotron you can actually add some other information and link these all together okay this is the third and final overview of using Pinagendo, which is a visual editor for twitter bootstrap certainly it's a really excellent piece of software really nicely laid out it's also free to use you can have it on windows apple and also linux it you can quickly and easily get to grips with using it it really useful for making mock-ups and concepts which is something that i'm interested in but also you can actually make sites using bootstrap for online use if you can just get into the code and customize some of the actual components once you've laid them up I will be doing some other screen test tutorials based upon um, Pinagendo, focusing on just certain parts and aspects and components.